All right, I just got challenged by Flaggy Tatar. And it is a rated game. So, I have no pressure. All the pressure is on you. Because if I lose, I only lose two points. <laughs> so, thank you. First of all, thank you for willing to risk it. But that probably also means that you think there is no risk. However, I noticed they have two bars of internet, so I could always hope that uh, you um, I could always hope for a disconnect. Although I don't think I would do that to my viewer. I think at that point I would just even if I draw, that's still six points though. <laughs> so I apologize in advance if uh. I assume if I go here, takes, takes, and then he's gonna come on like that. It's castle. Good news about this is that I don't need to worry about this. Is this a slight stuff? No, it's called the Jaffe Gambit. I actually don't know what that is. Maybe I could have pushed D4 already. Interesting. We just trade off everything. Hmm. I'll still just pin this guy. I could do nothing, just like I how I learned in the last game. I could do nothing and keep developing. Don't even think. So in that case, don't think about pushing. Don't think about taking. Just develop and do your thing. That's what I learned, and that's what I'm gonna do. Just gonna keep calm. Okay, if I go here, is it gonna take? I think I'm still good. I think I can go here and do my Roy setup. Let me do my normal Roy thing. I got thrown to win a pawn already. Have you muted me, Flaggy Tatar? Have you muted me? Hmm, it's going after my bishop here. Eh. I think now I went upon though, right? I think I went upon. Do I take towards the center or not? I don't know. Do I? Or do I open up? I think I take towards the center. Oh, I don't win a pun. What am I saying? I don't win a pun. <laughs> I don't win a pun. I gave up my bishops. That's not great. It's often not that big of a deal. Something like that. He's playing very fast, this guy. Like very, very fast. Um I think I'm gonna carry forth with that plan. I also wanna own the file. Cause I wanna do something like this. Yeah. E3 has a nice little square for me. It's very nice actually. Very, very nice. Very nice. I love e3 for my knight. Oops, he straight up takes it. All right. Next up, I think I want to activate him. Possibly contest him. Oof, I can't believe I got to play like a closed Roy. That's pretty sexy. He wants to come in here. Here's what I say. He wants to come in here and challenge him. Uh, let's just stop him from doing that. I could also kick him away later, but why even let him get in there?
yeah i'm just gonna first control c4 not sure if that's a bust because i honestly i would prefer my bishop to be here so giving up a pawn for what are there tactics <laughs> there better be tactics giving up a pawn for what i just want to know oh so the rook can come the rook comes can i do this and then like two pieces are hanging are they not He takes, I guess the bishop is hang. I take, he takes. Oh wait, I can't come here. The queen controls that square, just kidding. So it goes here. I guess I could go here though, which controls both. Do I just want a pawn? Am I wrong or do I want a pawn though? I don't know. <laughs> Weird. <laughs> Weird. I'll take it. He goes here, I go here. Yeah, I guess you could go back, but then, but then I just go back. <laughs> Life is good. Well, I go here. Maybe that's actually kind of a problem. Go here. He does something like that. Yeah, let's not get into the pin. Let's not pin ourselves. I think this is the only move and now we can go here i think i just want a pawn which is nice good to know and the bishop moves this is weak nice nice with a pawn up against a 2000 i feel slightly better thank you for giving me pawn odds this bishop will be a problem like eternal problem to deal with However, let's develop and maybe he can draw back. All right, I want to give him a square to draw back. So let's develop the rook. Everything here looks really solid. I'm not scared of this whole thing. I'm not scared of it because my knight is doing a great job. Um, Let's do that. If he goes here, I mean, this is also hang. Yeah. It's also hang. Let's just do this. Oh, I love how I'm playing this game so far. I love the Roy Lopez. This is a really fun version of the Roy that I just did. This is really nice. This is like the, a nice Roy. I wish I, yeah, I wish this baby were here though. I really wish this baby were here. And then we can start coming in. Right, we can start coming in. But um This looks good for me. This looks good for me. Maybe he's going for some tactics, but uh yeah, maybe he's going for some tactics. I can go here and just push him away though. What do you say? Yeah, let's go. Let's go here, which protects him, attacks him. And prepares to push and attack him. Multi multi purpose move. Multi multi purpose move. Thank you, Girl Habanero. I will try to remember that. If you go back, that's passive. You go back, you block your bishop. If you go here, I'll just take you. No big deal. Yeah? Alright, now I'm still gonna keep my cool though. I'm still gonna keep my cool though. You see how now we always keep our cool, we don't react? We don't react when the opponent wants us to react? We'll keep our effing cool though. Now we're talking. Now I want to bring, now I want to unleash my ba baby. Now I really want to unleash my baby. I gotta be unleashing my baby, please. Now I want you to let me do my thing. This bishop can no longer be here forever. I will not be satisfied here wanted to come in here although this guy was also hang it's still hang though can i still take it you know what let's take him if, is it a free pawn well no this guy will be hang so first you resigned why did you resign did i just take too long why did you resign it's still even i was gonna come in next up i was gonna go bishop a2 and protect this pawn and then take this pawn. But we were, why did you resign? 
Why? We were having fun. I mean, thanks, but why? You're not gonna die, Lord. Turkey jelly? I don't know what that is. But is it turkey? <laughs> I mean, thanks, but I, I kind of wanted to keep playing that. Look, I'm really proud. Zero misses, zero blunders. One mistake. I mean, really proud. I want to keep going. Why did you resign? <laughs> Sometimes I wonder if I play too slowly and people get bored. But you challenged me to 10 minutes. What did you think? <laughs> it wasn't going to be blitz. We were still even. Oh, maybe he had to go eat or something. Maybe his mom called him to dinner. Why did why did you resign? <sighs> Sorry, I'm not going to accept requests until I um review this cuz it was interesting. I I was having a lot of fun. It's not like a huge tactical battle. It's a slow positional maneuvering, which I really enjoyed. Maybe bishop g3 was bad cuz allowed them to take my bishop. So that was an inaccuracy, right? I should have just kept the tension. Just should have kept the tension. Yeah. And they shouldn't have even taken. The best was probably to open up the f-file. Are you serious? Sack the effing bishop, though. Ooh. What the f is this line? What the f, though? Are you kidding me? Wait, why? If knight goes back, then I hit them with a check. Are you serious, though? What would happen? Let's just see what happened if king takes. Oh my effing lord. The king can never take because of this sexy tactic. And it's not just a sexy tactic. Guess what? It's also Maiden freaking 3. Can we see Maiden 3? I frankly admit I can't see Maiden 3. I can't see Maiden 3. Well, I guess. Bishop b3. Oh. Oh. How does not even just mate? It just mate. It's straight up mate. Holy up, that was hot. That was really nice. So king cannot take it, obviously. King cannot take it because this first is not just a fork. It's also it's also mate on the board. Wow, it got so sharp so fast. So so hold up. He can't even take it. So let's say king. Where does it want the king to go? H8. So how do I follow this up? Wait a minute. I take an effing, I take an effing rook in the process. <laughs> That's hotter than taking a knight for sure. And then I break open their entire queen side. Oh my god, yes. I do not have the tactical vision for that, but in the future. Thank you, one fart moon. You know what, maybe, yeah, maybe he thought he lost. I don't think he thought, he, maybe he thought it was embarrassing that he was down upon against me. And he didn't want to, like, eventually, like, lose the game. But I don't think so. If you're, like, actually a 2,000, you have very high chance of winning even despite being down a pun. Hi, universe. I do play Blitz, but right now I'm reviewing the game. So if you watched any of my videos, you know that, like, after my stuff, I like to uh, review games. Actually, I kind of want to replay that E6 tactic. That's just so hot, though. I just... This is just so beyond me. This is beyond my comprehension. It's actually, I can't, it's like beyond my level. It's beyond my skill level. Sorry, I'm grr. It's beyond my skill level to see this, to see this, um, to see this tactic. To have the tactical vision to go in for something like this. But in the future, in the future, I will, I will be thinking about that. E6 on the board. That's so hot. At least I learned something. So I don't know where my, oh, my opponent actually disappeared. So I think he was busy. Like, let's not say like he like didn't want to play. I think he actually had something to do because he actually just left. So I, I think like normally somebody would say something, right? So they actually don't even like E3, which I liked. I liked E3. <laughs> just goes to say how I'm not really strong. The engine noise never likes the stuff I like. They, they just straight up give away a pawn. I don't really get it. They just give away the pawn though. I think they thought I think they thought they were gonna win it back, but they missed that um they missed that I can defend, right? Oops, which is actually even a mistake. Oh duh. I did not need to get my queen all passive and potentially stuck over here when I could have just come back this way. 
That puts a queen on a safer square. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got my queen all stuck off to the side of the board for some reason. <laughs> yeah, yeah. They, they missed a lot of stuff. Um, Missed a lot of stuff. Oh, what are we doing here? Are we doubling up rooks? I guess we're doubling up rooks here. While they created a hole for us. They created a lot, lots of nice juicy potential forks for us. This already feels, yeah, the way this game is progressing feels like white is gaining an edge. Slowly but surely, white is gaining an edge. The way I played it, I don't think, I don't think I was, had anything. I just kicked them away. Although, although at this point I'm already up by one. I already have a 1.1 advantage. So, because he's about to hang something. So actually what I was going to do next, let's just play this out. Because this pawn is hang, but if I straight up take it, take, take, take. Queen takes, and after queen takes, mm, I don't really want to give up this pawn. So I was thinking, like, first to line up the bishop here. And immediately that loses my advantage. <laughs> first I thought I wanted to put the bishop here, but then he can defend this pawn, I guess. But I wanted to already create some threats against this. So it does want me to straight up take. It wants me to take. Oh, it wants me to trade the rook. So let's play through that line. Because actually, yeah, I, I don't actually know how to convert this, frankly. See? I don't think I would have wanted to trade rooks. Why don't they take my pawn? I just want to know. Why don't they take my pawn? I think a normal person would take my pawn. Why don't they take my pawn? I guess it doesn't make a difference. I could take their pawn. Like if we were both noobs, we would just go after each other's pawns. But here it doesn't want me to do that. <laughs> it wants me to go king h2. Oops, that's not king h2. Let's go king h2. Get the king safe first. If it were me playing, I honestly might just do a, like a noob move like this. Which straight up is bad because the rook just comes in and takes all my pawns anyway. So, <laughs> it's not good crazy. If I go king h2, what if they take this guy? Oh man, now I'm straight up winning because of the fork. So they actually have to block the fork. They have to defend against the fork by something like this. At which point I feel like they're just passive. So now I go f3, defending against the bishop. Um, this point, now I go in for this idea. Now it's not too late. Okay, so it gives white an edge if I had played this 100% accurately. Um, every queen is useless, only play with horses, unless fork. I don't know if I agree with that, Lord. <laughs> Do you want to play me with queen odds and then we'll see? <laughs> queen on the rim is dumb. <laughs> Can't agree with that one either. But <laughs> definitely not as... Actually, yeah. Actually, yeah. We all like a centralized queen. You know what? We're going to go for another 10-minute rapid. Oops. All right, oops. Okay, sorry for her. For, for her, you'll have to wait until after this. Israel. It's a cat. Cute. All right, we could still abort this. <laughs> we could still abort it, but I win nine points if I win. So let's try to win. Oh my god, and if I win nine points, I think that's my peak. I think that was my peak rating. Can someone actually check if that's my peak or not? I can't remember if it was 1738 or just 1733. Maybe it was 1738. I want to play the scotch. What are the chances that my 2000 opponent just wanted to gift me some points? I doubt it though. If you're if you've gotten to two thousand chess, you probably are competitive enough of a person to not ever want to give up your uh, points like that, <laughs> even for charity, even for a good cause. I don't think you would want to. Okay, we've literally just played this game. If he gives me this chug, I know to put my king on f one. For some unbeknownst reason, I think the move is king f one. I checked it with the engine. We're gonna do it. When we go into that line, we're going to do it, okay? I already have it prepared. Give me the chug. Yep. King F1, baby. Best engine move. Don't ask me what, why, when, or where, but it is. Just trust trust the engine. 
Trust Stockfish. Ugh. <laughs> Trust in Stockfish. All right, and now I want to I want to destroy your pawns. Okay. Is that good though? I feel like I never want to give up my pawns or give up my bishop. I never want to do that, but let's do it. Let's do it, and then we're going to push him away. Yeah. Maybe something like this, even. Yeah, what is my king doing here? I just want to know. Why did the engine tell me to do this? <laughs> I just want to know. <laughs> Why? Something like this. Why? <laughs> this or this? I mean, how about get my king out of here? <laughs> Why though? <laughs> Why would it do this to me though? Why would the engine do this to me? <laughs> what now? <laughs> I know that's the best engine move, but maybe I should have looked harder. I literally don't know what this is about. I don't know. Weird stuff. Weird stuff. <laughs> Why, Anjan? I still don't get it. <laughs> if I go here, I get chucked. All right, I get chucked. All right, here's when we create some luft. This is when we create luft for the king. This is how we save the position. You ready? This is how we save the position. Frankly, I don't get any of it. And I guess I'd go something like this. I have no idea. What is this? Hmm. Yeah, something like this. If he pushes this, then I'm a sack it. No. <laughs> sack it crazy. How about something like this? It's passive. Passive, but it works. I don't want to pin myself. I mean, come on. I could also just give it up. Yeah, let's open it up. If we take, I'll just put my knight here. Okay. This, this. Oh, kind of spicy. Kind of spicy. Kind of cute. Kind of cute and spicy. My kind of thing. It's my kind of thing. I think, should I go for the pawn or the bishop? Hmm. I don't like how their bishops are slicing across my board, so I think forget the pawn. It's already a bad pawn structure. Let's just take that bishop. But if I take the bishop, I open up their rook. So it's kind of like bad news. Also, they just defended it, so. Uh, they kind of just solved that problem for me. You know what? Let's take them because. Because. Ooh, maybe I could have kept the tension i think i should have kept the tension and then gone in like this to target that but at least yeah now this is like now he could threaten to take no he can't my queen covers it so let's go in like this actually yeah does that hang that hangs upon this hang a pawn. I need to get active. Hmm. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Can I come in like this? Come in for their other bishop? No, I kind of need to control the square, I think. I think I need to control these squares. I think I think I do have some weaknesses. 
You know what? Maybe this is good for me. Maybe it's good for me to like forsake this pawn. Let's just kind of throw queen f3, take, take, queen takes. At this point, you have so many chucks about to happen, right? Chuck, right? Actually, not even that chuck, this chuck. This chuck straight up, this chuck straight up owning. This chuck, I think, wins. So I think let's do this. Let's do this and let's hope they take. In fact, we're going to hope they take because once queen vacates that square, we come out with the chuck and then we hit them dirty. We're about to hit them dirty. Okay, let's let's hope for that. I can hope. If they don't go for that, I'm about to activate my rooks and just get them out of the way, frankly. Oh, funny. I mean, are you just asking for it at this point? Are you just asking for it? Are you just asking for it? What are their chances that they're going to pin themselves? I mean... <laughs> I don't think they would do something so dumb. I don't think they would do that. Oh. Then the last game I put my rook here and I got into problems, so... I shouldn't do that. But still, let's let's activate him anyway. Seventeen, seventy eight. Hmm. Hmm. Maybe he came here because he thought my knight was gonna jump here or something. Is that what he was trying to defend against? I mean, it's not much of a thing. It's that's not that's not even really like a threat. Maybe he's trying to defend against this knight jump or something. I don't know. But you're just walking into. I assume they're gonna castle because you don't want to be in this pin. You don't want to be in this pin, honey. No, sir. No, sir. Maybe that wasn't forceful enough. Maybe I could have just pushed. And then I could have done something like that, like after I push. Yeah, I don't know. Like now, can I go in for this? Hold up. <laughs> oh, so freaky, man. Maybe I can do something like this even. Threatening this guy. The king comes here. Or do I do this now? Oh, so many options. I can't decide. Or push d5 is also maybe interesting. d5, let's just calculate this through. If he takes, I take. Revealing this guy. Right? Queen has to move. So if I go here, actually. What if bishop just takes, I take. Queen has to move. Let's say queen moves. I take, I went upon. I don't know if I calculated that through. I don't know if that's right. <laughs> I don't know if that's right, but it's the most interesting option I have. All I can think, like, I feel blessed that tonight was full of really interesting games. Even the one I lost on move five in the Karo, okay? <laughs> <laughs> even that one <laughs> everything not not really that one but everything was super interesting oh so let just let me take hmm Maybe this option is even more interesting, eh? Yeah, instead of taking the bishop, I'll just calculate this though. Take bishop, queen moves, take knight. I guess I take, do I win a piece? Wait a minute, wait a minute. <laughs> take bishop, take bishop, queen moves, take knight. Yeah. Take 
ignite. They take, then I chuck. Do I win a piece? I think I do. Do I win a piece or not? Oh man, now it's getting hot. Now we're talking. Oof, sexy. If they give me a chug, I retreat. Ooh, now we're talking. Now we're talking. If they give me a chug like this, I'll just go down. And then I think I just hide out here. I think it looks good. Oh my god, life is so sexy. Let's go. Life is so hot. I control this square. Yep, I control it so I'm not scared. Because I have I have a little rook. This is why I play King F1. Mystery solved. <laughs> just kidding. I have I will never play that again. I don't care if the engine tells me it's the best move. Unless I can like firmly know why I'm playing King F1. It felt like it gave me way many more problems than anything in this game. Like my king, actually no, just kidding. I don't think my king was that exposed actually. It was okay. Was it not okay? Coming from more weaknesses, yeah. Just calculate this through a little bit. Mm, I could also go here. If I go here, it walks into this. But then I can just go here. It's not really that big of a deal. And then I guess he can do this to me. And then I'll just, I don't know. And then they get kind of active. But then I can always do this. So let's do it. Let's go for it. They don't have light square bishop to skewer me with. Oh my god, 148 though. The time, 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 not the time. Just go in for it already. Give me a chuck, no problem. Not even a problem. Okay, you're gonna have more problems. Oops, he covers a square though. I guess I could hit him with this chuck. Hit him with this chuck, yep. As soon as I hit him with this chuck, he's screwed. He drops a piece. You don't have more chucks. I'm not scared. I safely got my king out and my rook is about to play too. My rook is about to play. He moves this rook, he hangs. I'm about to hit him with this chuck. I want to see how you're going to stop it. Um... Interesting. I want to see how you're going to stop it. I don't want to get mated. All right, let's go in for this. Drop it like it's hot. Drop it like it's hot. Uh. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna stop this. Cause I could hide out. You know what? Let's just pray for the. Let's just pray to God. <laughs> let's just pray the best 48 seconds i did not calculate that instead of just i couldn't defend really so interesting i think mother he did checkmate me I think mother, he did chuck me. 
Ugh, bro. Brutal. Completely winning. Even here, completely winning. How, which way did I have to go? Yeah, I had to go this way. I had to go to H1. And now he can't check me. Why didn't I go to H1? Bro, why do I have to walk up the board into this freaking danger zone? If I gone H1, he can't check me no more. Brother, are you kidding me? Ugh. Are you kidding me? It's not two rooks for a queen. It's also the knight defended that square. It'd be losing the queen for a rook. They had two rooks on F2 and a knight. Um, we're on F3. It's not... I still was winning. Effing mother. God. <laughs> I just want to know why King F1 though. I was so winning. Grr. Okay. The coach is comforting me. Coach comforts me saying, Not every game goes your way, but there are always some learning moments that are worth reviewing. I got it. <laughs> Thanks, coach. See? King F1 is a great move. <laughs> I just don't understand it. I don't get it. Okay? It's a great move. I just don't understand. So we're going to like, we're going to really go into it deeper to try to understand it. Because if I come, come like face it again, I really want to know what to do. Oh, fucking hot. Why do they just give up a freaking bishop? I just want to know. Why do they give up a bishop though? Why? Why do they give up a bishop? I guess it's between that and giving up the pawn. But why give up a bishop? What if they just had gone back? E takes d5 now. Oh, I still win a piece. I, I'm winning a piece in either case. And this variation of why king f1 is a great move? Because I had to know the follow-up of queen b3. That's actually really cool. I guess I did learn something, coach. <sighs> Jeez. How many games can I be completely winning and not win? I think I, I try to hold. I try to hold. But here I lose my vantage. And then my king is just awkward. I needed to go in for the double attacks. I mean, come on. I needed to go in. The reason why the king... Is because it saved me the tempo needed for me to go in aggressively, not to push a3. I needed to be aggressive about it. Sorry, not now. I am in the zone. I think by here, I win a piece. I'm completely winning. Their move is inexplicable. I just hide out. I just hide out. These are all the best moves. This is, I consider that. Mm, actually, this is really sexy. If they take, then they get forked. That's actually really sexy. Yum, 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 yum. That's actually really nice. If they go here, they can't. They can't go here. If they go here, can they go here? Then I hit them with this. If they go down. Let's just see what happens. If they go down here. That doesn't do much for me. Oh man, a straight up mate. <laughs> Getting mated, brother. Oh man, that's hot. Threatening mate, threatening the rook. Actually, you can't defend it. You would have to be forced to take it. And then I take, oh my God, I considered this move. I just thought, oh, it's protected. Jeez, tactics, honey, tactics. Oh my God, so many games I lost from one move. Just one move blunder. If I had just gone down. No problem, sir. Just no problem at all. No problem at all. <sighs> queen for two rooks is better? No, there's no queen for two rooks. Yeah, queen a4 early in the opening, you gotta have an arrow. I think you guys keep saying queen for two rooks, but that wasn't the case. Oh, you mean here, or queen for two rooks. Oh, you're right. That is the best. Why didn't I see that? Why didn't I do that? 
Why didn't I do that though? <laughs> For some reason, I only saw that the queen covered this square, and then that couldn't be the case because the knight knight also covers it. But why didn't I see that my queen could take it though? Forty eight seconds is enough. I think I'm just tired. I think I played too many games today. I could have seen that, and I'm still completely winning. Really? Ah, oh, damn it. That's a, okay. So the lesson from this game. The lesson is that I played well, but I need to save more time to convert it. If I don't have enough time, then I just, I've been blundering. How many games did I blunder today? Complete winning. I think just two. Two games. Yeah, the first game was very sad for me. The first game was really sad. And this game, both because of time pressure and one move I lost. Yeah, exactly. And the first game was exactly like that. Completely winning with one move as swung from winning to completely dead lost. Yeah, I should have just taken. I, I frankly, I'm a like Wes and um, Colorbug. I just missed it. I should have missed 